Yo hice Word of the Day. Man, what's that, man? Man, what's that? Man, that looks good, man. Much peace and love. I heard getting some sun. Let's see. I kind of like that. The mango. Want to make a video real quick talking about how I connected with my tribe out here. Did my African ancestry and got my results back. There we go in the sun. After I did my African ancestry and got my results back, I had, you know, talked to my wife about it and everything. She had a friend. That she worked with uh, in, in Missouri at the little hospital and stuff like that. Yeah, she was from Ghana though. So this sister was from Ghana. And she ended up uh, knowing the brother from out here in Burkina Faso. He wasn't in my tribe though, but he ended up linking me to uh, to a, a brother that was a chief out here. Give me a cooler spot up in the sun, a little sun bathing. But yeah, just a little reiterated, reiterated a little bit more. Trying to make sure I ain't forget nothing, but uh, yeah, I got that contact from bro, the chief. You know, uh, they introduced me to the king, and uh, he texts me all WhatsApp. Talk to them on WhatsApp. So he had texted me, uh, and I had talked to the, uh, the chief, the first one. Still keep in contact with them to this day. Uh, networking and contacts, that's the biggest thing. You know, keep in contact with people. You know, that's been the biggest thing for me. So, you know, once I got out here, you know, just lining everybody up for who I've been talking to. And it was all peace and love. It was just like a... Everybody was just waiting for me to get out here for real and trying to see if I was really going to come, so... But yeah, that's how I link with my tribe. So it wasn't really nothing hard. I, I say, if I was to do it again, I was in a different position. If I was somebody else or whatever. What I do is, um, I tried the Facebook thing. I was on Facebook groups. You know, I was in Facebook chats looking at the area, trying to contact DM people. Yeah, just network, just keep on networking until everything come together. You know, it might seem dangerous. I wouldn't say uh, just be chopping up with everybody, but if you can get in line with a chief or something like that, I feel like that's the best situation. So if you can get contact with uh, with anybody that can lead you to the chief or you can talk to the chief and everything, I feel like that's the best situation. That's a good situation. So that's what I did. And I feel comfortable after that. And uh, yeah, he lined me up with a translator. He hooked me up with the king, you know. Yeah, so shout out to big bro Jack. He took care of me. You know, shout out to everybody out here in the village. They just, they've been taking care of me since I got here now. Shout out to Zebra. You know, I love it. I love it out here. I love everything about the village. You know, I love the village life. 
you know, happy to be here, you know, happy to help out in any way I can, anytime, whether it's buying a beer for a brother or, you know, even more, whatever, you know. Uh, but, yeah, man, just, I'm trying to think for real, because it wasn't really, everything just fell into place, man, like it was meant to be. But, yeah, from my wife talking to a sister who knew a brother out here to that brother being able to link us up with a chief to that chief hooking us up with the king chief out here and then getting a translator and, you know, then making it out to the villagers like the whole village was prepared. That's why you see the video um, when I came to Zebra and greeted the king chief and everything like that. How, how crazy it looked because the whole village was prepared for me and they knew I was coming. So, you know, touchdown in, in the Wagadougou was was one thing, but then getting to the village was a whole nother because uh, everybody was prepared for me to come here, you know. So it was beautiful, man. I just say network, do a whole lot of networking, and get in contact with some chiefs if possible, you know. And uh, and keep up with them contacts. Don't lose your contacts. Keep in touch with people. And whatever craft you do, try to get in touch with those people of the same craft, you know. That's what I was helped to do. You know, man, that son feel great. So. Well, yeah, that's what I was blessed to do, man. So people who I was talking to, you know, the, the chief, uh, the first chief I had talked to, he aligned me with people who was doing the same exact thing I was doing, you know, music and entertainment and that field and stuff. So, you know, I love that, you know. And, uh, yeah, music artists, you know. Just, you know, it, it was beautiful, man. It's everything, like I say, it just really fell into place, man. So, I say you just should be open, too. You know, I know a lot of people be afraid of getting scammed and this and that. But uh, it wasn't about no money and nothing. It was it was just about networking and meeting people and stuff like that, you know. So networking is one thing. Getting out here is another thing and experiencing. So, you know, then when you got that one person like me, you know, if anybody else come, now you, you got the door wide open now. But uh, I said if you're going to another place, uh, if it was any of says, let's just say you get the word you got in or something like that. I feel like a place like that, there's so many uh, avenues open. You can get out there and network with so many people, you know. Uh, or like uh, or the Gambia, you got a lot of hands to help you out. So take advantage of it, especially the diaspora that's out there that might can give you information and stuff. Uh, Bikini Faso was a little, I ain't gonna say it was harder, but it was like, I ain't know nobody out here. It was, you know, I ain't even know JT was out here until I did uh, my research, you know, it's just looking like who out here or just searching up Bikini Faso and stuff like that. Then I found out he was out here and I'm like, what? You know, so yeah, man, network, network, network. Uh, you know, uh, getting them groups, chats, you know, and uh, and definitely try to link up with people who do the same stuff as you, you know, and everything should just fall in place. That's how it just that's how it worked out for me, man. So I know it looked crazy or whatever. Everything just looked extra smooth, but everything just fell into place. You know what I mean? Like it was meant to be. So you know, I'm just very thankful, humble, and you know, just living life, man. So, yeah, man, this is just a little something because somebody had requested it, but, uh-oh, merch coming soon.